Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiera or K Melton, whatever you prefer. Um, today we are going to do this fun and colorful look. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so my face is already washed and moisturized. So now we are going to take the crayon case chalk dust in the shade N. And we're just going to apply this all over our face. A really, really thin coat, not too much. Just like this. And you want to do the step after you moisturize your face. We are going to take our matte Fix Plus setting spray and spray that all over our face. And now we're just going to let this dry down really quick and then we're going to apply our primer right after this. We're using our Milk Hydro Grip Primer and our Farsali Skin Tooth Blur Primer. And the first primer I'm applying is my Farsali Primer. And then I'm going to rub that in. And you're just going to rub it in all over your face. And then we're going to use one pump of the Hydro Grip Primer. And we're going to apply that all over our face as well. You don't have to use two primers. I just choose to use two primers. You can use one primer. I just like to use both of these together. Face is prime. Now we're going to use our Plan and Makeup by Yolando eyebrow pomade in the shade ebony and what I like to do I like to outline my brows first and then go back and fill them in so we're going to outline them starting about a fourth of the way back and just draw around and then fill them in Now I'm just going to spoolie out my eyebrows and making sure I brush that product forward. We're going to be using our I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 9. And we're just going to outline our brows. And clean them up just like that. And just blend that concealer down. So I just added a little bit more concealer just to make it a little bit more clean. Okay. Both our brows are done now. We're just going to blend this concealer out. Okay, so we got both of our um, we have both of our concealers blended out on each side. Now we're going to take our P. Louise blank canvas base and apply that to our lid. And we're just gonna buff this out until it's blended in and dry. You always want to make sure your base is dry before you apply eyeshadow on top of it. Now that we have that done, we are going to start playing in some color. The first palette we're going to get into is the Plan and Makeup by Yolando Jam Rock No Limitations palette. And we're just going to pack this color into our crease. 
and you can see how pigmented it is. And we're just gonna pack it in a lot, make sure the color is super saturated. You honestly don't need a lot of eyeshadow to get the pigment to show up. You don't need that much. You only need a little bit. So we're just gonna pack that on. And we're just packing this yellow on top and blending the colors together. Everything is dry. Now we are going to take this um, blue shade in this palette right here and we are going to apply that onto our crease. And you want to take that color all the way over to the end. Boom. All done. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take that same purple shade right here and blend it over. Just blend these two colors together. Now we're going to take this neon pigment and this Inglot Duraline Mixing Medium to create an eyeliner. Okay, y'all. So I am adding in the eyeliner right now. Again, this is Neon Pigment and Duraline mixed together. So I'm probably gonna add some more pigment to this mix to make it a little bit thicker so you can see the color a little bit better a little bit better because right now it's like kind of transparent so i'm gonna add a little bit more pigment to it and go over the line again all 
All right, so that's this side and we're gonna do it the same thing on the other side. Okay y'all, so I have both eyes done. Now we're gonna move on to the eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, we're just gonna do a black thick wing. I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner to do my eyeliner today. And when I do my wing liner, I like to look down and keep my lid straight and just do the outline first and then fill it in. Just like that, and now we're just gonna fill in the rest of uh, the rest of the wing on the lid. Like that. Now we're going to do the same exact thing on this side. Now I'm going to use this flat Inglot 31T eyeliner brush and we're going to outline the top of our black eyeliner. So we got that done. Now we're going to move on to we're going to be using the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation. This is the shade 309W. Isn't this packaging super cute? So this is what the entire container looks like. It has 28 milliliters in there or 0.9 fluid ounces. And I've never used it before. This is my first time using it. So we're going to see how it, how it blends in and everything else. Do one pump on this side. One on that side. One up here, one on the nose, just a small one, and one over here, just to make sure we get everywhere. It is a full coverage foundation. And we are going to take, we're going to use our crayon case double ended brush to blend this out. Before we start blending it out, we are going to use our uh, Makeup Revolution spray just to gently and lightly dampen the brush. Now we are going to blend this out and see what it does. If I need to add more, I will add more. I should have wiped that eyeshadow off of my face first, but it's all right. I picked the perfect shade, y'all. I bought this. I got this online at Ulta. I went to the um, Beauty Bakery website to try to do the shade matching. And uh, I went out on a limb. After I looked through a couple shades, I was like, you know what? One of the models in the picture was close to my skin tone. So I was like, I think that'll be a good uh, shade for me. And turns out it is because I really didn't want to have to go to the store and return it. But we don't have to because it matches perfectly. Oh my gosh. And I do not, I've never bought foundation online because I am scared that it's not going to be the right shade. And this turned out to be the right shade. That is what's up, Beauty Bakery. Like, I'm really happy this is the right shade, y'all. I was expecting it to be a little off, but it honestly isn't. Full coverage. It covered up that um, eyeshadow that I still had up there. Just gonna take this down here and buff this out underneath. Okay. 
So I'm just blending the rest of this out, buffing it out. Making sure I got everywhere that needs foundation, foundation. Look at that coverage. Look at that match. Do y'all see that match though? I took off the end of my eyebrow. I'm gonna have to fill it back in when I get done. Are y'all seeing this match though? Like, are y'all seeing it? Boom. Done. Okay y'all, so my foundation is done. Now we're gonna use our Juvia's Place concealer that we used earlier today to clean up our brows. We're gonna put that underneath our eye. It's a little dry. And then we're going to take our Morphe M137 Fluffy Brush. This is actually a concealer brush to blend out our concealer and spray your brush first just to get it a little damp and then we're gonna blend it out. And now before we add our setting powder, we are going to take our foundation brush and just blend these edges out of this concealer. So you want to go right along the edges and blend everything out. We're going to use our chalk dust in the shade Y. This one has some brown tint to it. And we're going to apply our chalk dust on our face. And as y'all can see, the chalk dust just melts into the concealer. I'm just pressing it in. Make sure you do press it in. But the chalk dust just melts into the concealer. Just like that. Make sure everything's dabbed in. To contour, we're using our Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 9. And with this concealer, you don't need a lot. And I would also recommend letting it dry down a little bit first before you blend it out. To speed up the drying process, we are just going to fan it just a little bit. I don't have one of those hand fan things, so we're just going to use a palette and just dry it down a little bit so that it doesn't spread too much because it spreads a lot. And then you'll have to do damage control. Now we're just going to spray our brush first. Spray brush and blend it out. Blend it up, not down. Just like that. Cut 
contour, contour, contour. To set our contour, we're going to be using our Planet Makeup by Yolando Mixed Race Palette. And we're going to be taking this shade right here. To set our contour. To set everywhere that we just put powder. I mean, everywhere that we just put concealer, sorry. I'm going to use a little bit of this lighter one. I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some of this lighter one right here. Cause we really don't wanna darken the contour, we just wanna set it. Y'all ever been in a group chat and the people just will not stop chatting, like texting or messaging back and forth? Like, oh my God, there ain't that much talking in the world. Gee, that All right. To contour our nose, we're using the Black Radiance Cream Contour Palette and we're going to use this dark shade right here. And we're going to take this kind of fluffy brush and go along the sides of our nose. And depending on how hard you want to contour your nose, that's completely up to you. You can do a soft contour, you can contour it hard. It's honestly whatever you prefer. And we're just gonna blend this down. And then now we're just gonna take a little bit of powder and set that too. Just like that. Now we're gonna take some more setting powder and go up on the sides of our nose. And we're also gonna cut into that um, contour. I need some more powder, I ain't got enough. We're gonna cut into this contour. And we're also gonna put some powder down here just to kind of set the rest of our face that we didn't set with anything else. And we're just gonna add some setting powder down here. And we're gonna let this sit. On our face. I'm also going to take the same sponge and just kind of back this um, contour up a little bit. And go around my perimeter as well with the sponge. Just like that. So kind of back everything up and blend everything out a little bit more so now we are going to go ahead and put on some highlight for highlighter today we are going to use Glowden by the crayon case and however much highlight you like it's whatever you like. I kind of like to use a lot, but again, it's completely up to you and your preference of what you like. And when you use a loose highlighter, it's a little harder to blend out, which is another reason why I like to use the eyeshadow brush to blend it out. Because I can kind of move it around more versus using a fan brush. We are going to do our lips. For lips today, I'm feeling, I'm going to do a color. Since this is kind of a colorful look, we're going to do colored lips today. And y'all know I don't like to do color, but we're going to do some color. Now we're going to apply our lashes. These are from Desirable Cosmetics. 
And I like to use the Duo Lash Glue with the brush applicator on it. With the brush applicator on it. And now you just want to squeeze your lashes and the false lashes together. Like that. And the last thing we have to do is our lipstick. So I'm going to be taking this blue crayon case lipstick. The shade is called Presidential. And we're going to outline our lips with this. And with this lipstick, you kind of have to work fast because it dries down really fast. Now we're going to take the shade Fruits, which is a pink lipstick, more like magenta, kind of, and we are going to apply that to our lips. I'm going to make the blue a little bit thicker on the bottom, just a little bit, like that, and now we're going to apply the, the magenta pink color. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. I definitely had fun doing this look. This is different, especially the lips. I don't do color lips. But nevertheless, I hope you guys like this look. Don't forget to like this video as well. Leave the comments down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.